I am Peggy Clemens Lauritsen, and I'm an accredited genealogist from Ohio. And I am here at the Southern California Genealogy Jamboree. And yesterday, I presented a class on researching your pre-1850 census records and using those awful tick marks that we find in there. And the tips that I would give to you is to start with every single census record that your ancestors would have appeared on and work back. Download the forms from Ancestry that are blank and that you can line up and use to record that. And I found that in doing that, my family was able to be traced back clear into Berks County, Pennsylvania, where I could connect them with a, a family in Floyd County, Kentucky, that ended up in a really big lawsuit. Uh, my grandfather, that lived in the late 1700s, er, early 1800s, was in Floyd County, Kentucky. And he was being mentioned on a lawsuit that he was, I guess what you would call a surety for a man who was going to pay a debt. And if that debt was not paid, my grandfather was going to end up paying for that debt in the amount of $1,400, which is equivalent to about $30,000 today. So because of being able to connect through the census tick marks from Floyd County, Kentucky, back to Germantown, Pennsylvania, and then connecting a court record to that same family, then I solved a big brick wall that I didn't think I would be able to solve. But through this, I used a timeline to connect the family, starting with my own grandmother in 1940, and taking her family on back to her parents, to their parents, to their parents, until it led me straight back in from northern, northeastern Kentucky, down to southeastern Kentucky, and then on back to Germantown, Pennsylvania, which I didn't have a clue that they would have come from there. But it was the pre-1850 census tick marks that took me there. Uh, we just recently finished up filming a, a topic on using school records to research our ancestors, which is a topic that not a lot of people even think about when they are researching their ancestry. And so I take people on a case study, actually two case studies, as to how school records help me determine the ancestry of my parents and their parents, especially when my own family had burned down the courthouse and there were no courthouse records. So school records helped me to, to find what I needed.